good beautiful morning everybody silas back again today it is a fantastic day out here it's a little bit warm it's getting warm it's gonna be pretty warm but there's a nice light breeze and this is the type of wind that i like not too strong not too weak it's just right but we've got a super busy day today if i don't trip and fall as i'm recording and walking at the same time tree brush tried to get me but anyway all week long i've gotten my camera out almost every day today's thursday by the way uh, that I'm recording this and I get my camera out and I start to record stuff and then something happens and then just this happened and that happened and so I just never did record a full video and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of go back and play some of the things that I recorded just kind of go through and pick and choose a few things I, uh, as you guys know the building way up front the roof blew off of that building and it is just completely flooded out and so I would go in there and it was really kind of depressing I mean you guys know you've seen previous video of me working on it a little bit well, it's even worse now. So I went in there and I sold a ton of stuff, which you guys will see that here in just a second. But uh, it was kind of a depressing video. I was like, I'm not going to keep making videos. It just got me in a bad mood, you know? And I didn't want to make a video in a bad mood. I like to be in a good mood when I make my videos. That way it kind of transfers through the screen a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I, I hope it does anyway. So anyway, I'm in a great mood today. I do want to play some of the stuff because there was some interesting things that happened. So I'll go ahead and play that now, and then we'll come back out here. This area of my shop has never held water, but look at this. This is all water back here, all the way from this wall, all the way down there to that wall, all the way around the other side is just solid water in here. All my boxes that I had for eBay back in the day are all completely ruined. This area has never held water, so I didn't bother putting them up on anything. So they're all ruined. I've got some of them up in the air already. These here are okay, which is good because these are expensive boxes right here. And I've got all those boxes up and off the ground, so some of the boxes are okay, but I've got bunches of boxes of I think these are all vintage radios down here and those are all in about a quarter inch of water so they're getting ruined everything in here is getting ruined so I have got to got to got to get this stuff moved out of here and I have nowhere to go with it I'm in here now taking pictures of stuff and selling it dirt dirt and I mean dirt cheap like I've got seven strain columns these two are here pretty rough but like this is a 59 Oldsmobile this is an old Tornado tilt telescopic this is a tilt column here there's an old Camaro floor shift column over there tilt column I think there's some old Chevy trucks back there, tilt columns, and I threw all seven of them online for $400. Just stupid cheap prices. I mean, some of those, like those truck columns over there, will bring three to 400 bucks each. And so just one of those columns will pay for everything. And I just don't have time to do it right now because you have to take a string column apart to ship it. And I just don't have time. I've got a bunch of cool old signs. I sold these signs here, all four of them, for 50 bucks. And I've got some more. Oops, I don't trip and fall over stuff. I just got too much stuff. I've got all these old metal signs over here. There's over 40 signs there and I sold them all for uh, I think a hundred bucks. So I just listed those columns for sale. And while I was talking to you guys, right after I listed them, the guy commented on the post and said he'll take them. So they sold fast. And like I say, I'm selling the stuff dirt cheap. I mean, I just sold 1500 to $2,000 worth of steering columns for 400 bucks. Just unreal cheap prices. You will not find better deals than what I'm doing right now. The kicker is though, is I'm not shipping nothing. If they want it, they got to come get it. This old Odyssey just came in. I forgot how ugly these old early Odysseys were. He's totally ugly. They drove it out. Just a junker. He's got a couple more. He said he's probably going to drive out next week. You might remember this. This was in one of my previous farm cleanup videos, or kind of like a tour of a farm cleanup we were going to do. I ended up hauling a few of them out of there, but my dad got the rest of them, and this was out back, so he got it the other day. I'm out here at my place now and my Jeep actually fired right up. It didn't even turn over hardly, it just fired right up. Boy, that thing runs good. I'm gonna be sad when I sell it. I just gotta get it cleaned out, cleaned up a little bit, probably vacuum the carpet, make it look a little bit nicer, and I'm gonna go ahead and auction it off. I never drive it anymore. That was my first adventure wagon. Well, it wasn't my first, but it's the one that I had when I first started this channel. My very first video has that in it, so a lot of memories in that thing over the last few years that I've owned it, but I just, I don't need that many vehicles. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate one of them. But what I've gotta do now is go ahead and get the loader out real quick. And I've gotta move this car out of the way so I can get to this boat because they are gonna be here probably in about 45 minutes to pick it up. I finally sold the thing and him and his son were looking for a, a project they can work on for the next year. They don't plan on putting it in the water this year, but hopefully by next year. Once that thing is gone, that's gonna open up a lot of room in here. And if he'd come get that truck, That'd really open up a lot of room in this area. That'd be pretty cool. 
and then my little camper trailer over there i've got a buddy that has a youtube channel he's talking about doing a collab on that one and he's going to fix it up for me and that sort of stuff so that'd be pretty cool I'm supposed to talk to him more on that later in the summer but i've got to head out right now i've got to go pick up my kids my wife's out of town so i've got all three kids but i'm going to bring it back out here with me it's not that hot out here today so i'll just bring them all out here and hopefully everybody shows up on time and i'll be able to get some of this stuff out of here <laughs> got everybody with me they're not too sure about this it's pretty hot outside but uh we're just gonna hang out in the truck till the next person gets here i believe there's someone coming to get some bicycles and like i said the guy's coming to get that boat then it has peanut butter all over his face he just ate a peanut butter jelly sandwich in the car yeah in the car It has been raining non-stop every night and now it's getting pretty deep in here. Hard to believe I used to work in this building all the time. Kind of sad. Glad I got water boots. It's getting bad in here but I've got a guy on the way. I've got all these car parts on the shelf. I paid $400 for this stuff and he's coming. He's giving me 50 bucks. I did save the headlight rings. As you guys know I'm always needing those for my noses. I forgot I even had those. They're hiding back down here on the floor. And that's one of the cool things about getting rid of this stuff is I'm finding stuff I didn't know I had that I can't actually use. And so if I'm able to consolidate all this stuff way, way, way down, I think it'll be a lot better for me in the long run. Check out this back right here. This is a pretty cool one. Got the little wrench for the fender bracket. Guy was building this, he built two of them, or he built one of them, I should say. Got it completely done, it was really nice. And he started building this one, then he got really sick and passed away, unfortunately. And so when they were cleaning up his place, they knew I collected bicycles, or I did back at the time. So they got a hold of me, and I bought this. I don't even remember what I gave for it. I think I gave a hundred bucks for it, like it is. Like I said, it needs finished, but I think I'm just gonna resell it. I'll try to make a little bit of money on it, but if I have to, I'll just take my money back on it. I know it'd sell for a hundred bucks in a heartbeat, but I'm gonna shoot for probably 150, maybe 200. Just kind of judge the market, see how it goes. And we are back out here at the yard today. Now today, I've got multiple things going on. I've got a couple trucks that I've got to get ready to go. But uh, right now what I've got to do is I've got to get the loader out. I've been buying catalytic converters. Ever since I pulled up to the gate, there was people waiting with catalytic converters. I think I've only bought one or two cats all week, and now today it's just non-stop cats coming in. But anyway, I'm gonna get the loader out. I've got a bunch of tree brush here on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and gather up. I got a big pile there. What I'll do is I'll pick that up and I'll set it down on top of this pile and smash it all together. And since it's gonna be on the forks anyway, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just drive it down there and dump it in the pile with the other tree brush.
Man, it has been a crazy day. That's the only bad thing about beautiful weather days is that the day that everybody wants to do everything. So I have just been nonstop slammed with people coming out here. And unfortunately, about half of them have been wanting to buy stuff and I just really don't want to sell stuff right now. I got too much to do. Unless it's a big ticket item, then yeah, you bet I'll sell it. But today my main goal is to crush some cars and I have not crushed a single car. It's lunchtime now, so I'm gonna close the gates up, go get something to eat, and then this afternoon, hopefully, I'm just gonna not tell people that I'm here, and hopefully I get in here and get a bunch crushed. The breakfast burrito from Sonic sounded pretty good today, so that's where I'm at, but look at that rain off in the distance. All those wavy lines you see, that is torrential rain. I'm glad it's over there and not here, but it kinda looks like it's heading this way. So I'm hoping it dodges this, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm sitting there waiting for my food, and someone comes up to me and says, hey, are you Silas? And I said, yeah, and so they recognized me. Honestly, it was probably because my truck says Adventures made from scratch on the side of it, and so they're like, oh, I think I know him. And so they came up there and saw me and said, oh yeah, it is him. And uh, it's always kind of a weird thing for me. I don't know exactly how to react to that. I'm, I'm still getting used to this, where people recognize me in public and say, hey, what's up? And so I was like, what's up? I don't really know what else to say, but it's just kind of different. I'm not saying if you see me, you can't walk up to me and say hi, that's perfectly okay. If you happen to see me in public, go ahead, come up and say hi. I'm just a small town Kansas boy, I'm not, I'm not used to all that. Here comes the rain, lots of thunder and lightning, just starting to sprinkle, literally just started a few seconds ago. But on the radar it looks like a pretty serious rainstorm is coming this way, it won't last too long, probably about 30 minutes or so. It's raining pretty good. It's not an absolute drencher like I thought it was going to be, but most of the storm hasn't hit us yet, we're kind of on the edge of it, but as long as it just kind of stays like this, this won't be too bad, just a nice spring rain. Of course, the river's coming up pretty fast and we're under a flood warning, so we'll see what happens with that. This car here is supposed to have something pretty cool in the trunk, so I'm going to open the trunk real quick and find out. It's really sad what's in here. A guy had this by a shop, I think, and he had his collection in the trunk, and he told me the stuff was in here. I thought it was going to be like one or two. I didn't realize what was in there. I feel bad for that guy. I know what it's like to lose stuff in fires. But uh, he said he didn't even want to open the trunk and didn't even want to see the stuff, didn't care, he just scrapped the whole car. So uh, I'm going to pull the stuff out of there. It's not worth anything, but I think we can make some really cool crushing videos later on. Check this stuff out. Oh, I got a customer here, so I got to go deal with them real quick, and then we'll check it out. Okay, got him taken care of, now let's check this stuff out. 
Look at those. That's heartbreaking. There's some pretty cool ones in here, like this in here. That's a combine. This one right here would have had a plastic combine header on it. It's gone now. There's a loader, a bulldozer, another bulldozer, a crane. Here's a forklift. I've got one of those. It's still complete, obviously. Pretty cool pieces, but that one's really not. I'll probably keep that one anyway, just for myself. There's a few tires that somehow, well, no, they didn't really survive. They're just crumbling to nothing. I mean, that's a really bad deal. I feel bad for that guy. A Jeep, another loader, another bulldozer, a pickup truck, another bulldozer. Looks like a dump truck bed. Here's a conveyor belt. I'm thinking off of something. Looks like there's some farm equipment implement pieces. What's that? Oh, another, another truck, probably a dump truck of some point, sort. Yes, more trucks up in there, more dump trucks. I don't know what this is. Looks like a wagon. I don't have my gloves on, so I'm not going to dig in there real, real good, but man. What I'm thinking I'm going to do on this stuff here is I don't really feel right selling the stuff because I'll be selling stuff and making money off of his loss because I mean people would buy these even burnt like this just for decor and just rusty decor that type of stuff but I don't really feel right doing that so what I'm gonna do with these is I'm just gonna make a crushing video out of them I've never got to do that I've often thought about that I had a bunch of Tongas up front that were nothing super valuable but they were in way better condition than this and then a guy came in and bought them all from me and so I didn't get to do that but with this batch here since they're already burnt and there's really nothing good here like I said, I may pull out a few of the pieces and keep them. Like I'll probably keep the truck and that there, and maybe the Jeep just for junkyard cabin. Maybe a couple of these loaders, I don't know. But most of these, what I'm gonna do is I'll make a crushing video out of nothing but crushing Tonkas. I think it'd be kind of unusual, something different you don't always see. Ooh, that thunder, I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but it is thundering like crazy out here. It's getting dark out here too. It's crazy how dark it is. On the camera, it doesn't look nearly as dark as it actually is. I don't know if I can correct it and make it look the same as what it really does to the eye. There we go. The light correction on this camera is pretty good, so it makes it seem a lot lighter than it actually is. But it completely quit raining now. There is not a drop of rain in the air, but off that direction, there's more coming this way, so it's probably going to start raining again like it was here in just a minute, and it's supposed to do that, the weatherman said, for about an hour and a half off and on. So. I just went ahead and shut everything down here. It's mid-afternoon anyway. I've only got about an hour, hour and a half left in the day. I've got a guy bringing me an old car. I don't know exactly what I'm buying. I don't even know exactly what it is. It's parts and pieces. It's been taken apart where a person was going to part it out or something. I don't know the whole story. But he's on the way with that, so he's going to bring that out to my place because I'm buying that for myself. I don't know when he's going to be here. He'll probably be here. Oh, raindrops. How's that song go? Raindrops falling on my head. <laughs> but anyway... I'm going to go out there and meet him. He should be here in 30, 40 minutes. More raindrops. I hope it doesn't rain when he gets there. It's all, like I said, in pieces, so we're going to have to unload it by hand. So hopefully it's not pouring down rain when he gets here. Well, this is what I bought. They say it's a 1940 Ford, four-door sedan. I'm not entirely sure that that's what it is, but uh, I don't have any reason to really doubt it. Just I'm not entirely sure. I don't know much about those. It's all in pieces, but it was $400 is what he wanted for it. And it's got two fender skirts here. I figure those will bring half the money back. They're not in perfect condition. Nice ones bring a lot more than that, but I figure they bring a couple of hundred bucks pretty easy. And it's got the remnants of an old visor up here. And so I figured that would sell as well for a little bit of money at least. The body I'm going to hang on to. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it here in a minute. But there's a whole bunch more parts over here. Got two of the original wheels. I'm sure those will sell. Got both rear fenders. They're pretty rough, but they are here. So I'm sure somebody will want those at least for a little bit of money. Same thing with the front fenders. It's marked 1944 Ford Pickup. I don't know if there's a difference between car and pickup or if they're marked wrong or if they're marked right. I really don't know on any of that. Uh, both running boards are here. The rear doors, there's no front doors for it. 
and then the trunk lid is here and then the grill is down there the grill's pretty rough but uh yeah there's a bunch of pieces here i figured i could sell the rear doors for wall hangers the fenders if nobody wants them for for using them to repair them then i'll just go ahead and take those and sell those for wall art as well the front fenders i can just toss in the scrap if i have to but the car itself the rain oh, i shouldn't say the main reason why i bought the car the only reason why i bought this car because i didn't really care about selling all those other parts and pieces and making a little bit of money on it that wasn't the intention but i like this car here the way it looks with the double little window here in the back like that and i'm going to put the trunk lid back on it more than likely but i thought what would be really cool the way it's cut off like this here is if a guy went in here and kind of brought that shelf out a little bit further and a little bit lower and then kind of took this floor out right here and put something else in there that actually sat on the ground or maybe a guy could put it up on legs i don't know i figure all that out later but basically what i think this would be really cool for is like a little uh, outdoor office for when i want to edit video and kind of sit outside i could set it out back and then i could come in here even if it was raining be kind of neat you could even just sit in here i'll put new glass in it and a guy could just sit in here and watch the birds back in the trees if nothing else i really don't don't know exactly what i'll do with it but either of those ideas i thought was pretty cool if a guy took this floor out and made it lower to where it was sitting on the ground you could get a chair in here no problem without rubbing your head on this and i thought that would just make a really really cool something to that effect where you guy could just sit in there and look out and worst case scenario if i decide not to do that the guy could cut it off a little bit shorter over there and make a flower planter or something out of this back here and put the rear fenders back on it so i may hang on to the rear fenders for now but if somebody offered me money for them i wouldn't turn it down while i'm here i figured i'll show you guys this tractor i never did show it to you when i got it i had a video of getting it unloaded and i was going to come back over here and show it to you and i never did <laughs> but uh this is an old ferguson i don't know exactly what year it is probably somewhere in the late 40s i'm guessing but a guy bought it outside of town and he didn't want to take it all the way home, so he drove by and said, you want to buy it? Give me a $100 profit, and it's yours. So I gave him 100 bucks above what he paid for it, and unloaded it here. It's got good wheels on it, good front and rear wheels. They're not rusted out or anything, so those will sell pretty easy. It's got a pretty cool-looking grill in it. It's kind of an ugly color. I don't really like the gray, but still, if a guy cuts it off up there, takes his front half off, that'd be kind of cool. Parts on these, as far as like engine parts and whatnot, don't bring much money just because you can buy all that stuff brand new for so cheap. But stuff like the carburetor is probably 20 bucks and the intake manifold is probably 20 bucks. Just little tinker pieces. And what I probably do with it, honestly, what I did with the last couple of these tractors I parted out is I just put an ad on uh, Craigslist and Facebook saying, parting this tractor out, you come pull whatever parts you need. And I'll go about doing it that way. So whenever I'm going to be out here about a week ahead of time before I'm going to be out here and I know I'm going to be out here all day, I'll post this tractor for sale, part it out, and then tell everybody to meet me that day. And then after that day, I'll delete the listing back off and I'll do it again. And that seems to work out pretty good. And then in other news, I sold all of my Volkswagen doors. These have been here for a little while. You may remember if you haven't seen that video, you ought to go check it out. I bought a lot of cool stuff at that auction, but uh, you'll see these in the thumbnail when you're going back through my videos. I think it was the one where I said I spent, I think it was $1,300 on all that stuff at an auction. But yeah, you can check out these doors here when I bought them and all this other stuff. It's kind of getting grown up here in the weeds and I want to get it moved. And some of the stuff I'm just going to take out and cut up like this old Henry J front clip. But those there, I didn't want to have to move them again. So I put them on there for sale for 50 bucks a piece. I think I gave 30 or 35 bucks a piece for them. And I had a lady buy all of them. And it's the lady that buys a lot of my wall art stuff. So they've got to be delivered to Texas. So either I or Sean will have to do that at some point in time. But they're all sold and spoken for now. So got them all gone i was going to take a few of them and paint flowers and peace signs and hippie stuff on them and then try to sell them they would have brought a lot more money that way but at this point in my life i just need to get rid of stuff and that way i can consolidate down and do more of the things i enjoy doing here's all the stuff that i bought today a bunch of catalytic converters and then this old mm grill it's pretty neat it's very heavy though it still has the radiator in it i want to try to get the radiator out of it i think what i want to do is from the back side i'll flip it over sometime and i'll take a hammer and chisel and kind of knock a hole through it all the way and then I'll take my sawzall and run all the way around and that way I can take the bulk of the copper out and then just leave the rest on the edges attached that way I can keep this together because if I actually clean it clean it it'll all fall apart and it won't be worth anything but I thought it was a really cool piece but anyway I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day I hope you guys enjoy this one if you did please give me a thumbs up as always I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there and find an adventure we'll see you next time